everybody. I am Hosanna David. Welcome to Igula Yopanam. I went for a funeral service today. And as I usually do, whenever I see a casket, I see a call, I ask myself this question. Do you know you will die one day? I caution myself. I use the opportunity to caution myself that Rosanna, listen, you are a human being. Remember, you were born one day, and one day that is coming, you are going to die too. So be careful. You are going to lie on a casket like this one day. And I also tell myself, Rosanna, you may not be fortunate enough like this one, lying in a casket one day peace. I'm not wishing myself evil, but those who die on plane crash, die miserable deaths like fire and different kind of death. But I'm not righteous than them. The issue is that everybody will die and that should be our focus. The way we die does not actually matter much. But the issue is, where are we going to when we leave this place? We know that every single human being is on the queue. We are queuing out of this world. You are the queue, but people don't know. A lot of times we don't remind ourselves that we will die. Hebrews 9.27 says, It is appointed unto men to die once, and after that, judgment. We should be concerned ourselves about where we are going to when we die and not actually how we'll die. The Bible says that for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Death is the exit to eternity. So death is not actually something so evil and wicked, but dying in the Lord is what we wish ourselves. Please, I want to also to ask yourself a question whenever you see a casket whenever you see the remains of someone ask yourself and tell yourself this thing that you are going to die one day ask yourself are you above death won't you die then go ahead and caution yourself to be careful to be humble because my hand is even shaking because we all are going to leave this world one day Please get ready for that day. Your day is coming. A sister's day just came and she's gone. We will all leave. The Lord may come for us one after the other. I mean, through death individually. Or he may come for the church and rapture us home. And our prayer is that we should be rapture worthy to meet the Lord in the air. Please take this to heart that we will all leave this world one day are you ready to meet your maker are you ready to meet him the lord jesus christ is going to come very very soon whenever you are faced with challenges don't concern yourself about what people think about you concern yourself about what the lord has a store for you don't get discouraged because this world must surely come to an end we shall live one day the first bath that we are given we are given the first bath we had somebody gave it to us the last bath we are going to have that means if we are fortunate enough for people to get our remains it will still be given to us by other people let's be humble Let's be humble to the Lord and obey Him at all costs because we will leave just as we bury others. Others are going to bury us too. I know it is a harsh message, but this is what I tell myself every time because I know that men can easily go astray. And we have to continue to remind ourselves of the bitter truth. It is bitter, but I tell myself all the time that one day, you, Zana, you will lie on a casket like this one day.
Thank you for watching. Share this message if you wish. God bless you. Bye.